morning students as i promised i'm going to solve some of the questions again from the new additional mathematics and exercise is 10.2 uh, in my last video i have solved question number 4 and 5 from this exercise and today i'm going to solve question number 8 and 9 okay now question number 8 says let me write down the exercise first it's exercise 10.2 and question number 8 and 8 the given and for information are given that cos a equal to half and that cos a and sin a have the same sign okay so what they're saying the value of cos a is going to be 1 by 2 or half and they are saying addition to that sin a and cos a have same sign okay and they are asking us to find out sine negative a and tan a so they are asking sine negative a equal to what and tan a equal to what that's what they're asking okay now again i'm gonna do this way sketching the graph or diagram now cos a cos a is positive and then another piece of information gives it when sine a and cos a have the same sign since cos a is positive this is positive same sign means sine is positive as well now where do i have both sine positive now in the first quadrant all positive sine positive cos positive tan positive cos is positive in two different uh, quadrants one is the first quadrant another one is fourth quadrant but in fourth quadrant sine is negative okay so it must lie in the first quadrant so we're gonna write down this and cos a it's k adjacent over hypo so one by two now we need to find out the this perpendicular value using the pythagoras theorem so a square must be two square hypo square minus the other side's square so it's four minus one that's going to be square root three so this is square root three now sine negative a means negative sine a because this is negative angles and sine negative angle equal to if a is acute it was acute this is a okay so it's gonna be negative angle is gonna be four, fall in the fourth quadrant so sine a is gonna be negative now negative sine a sine a is gonna be so op over hypo so op over hypo so root 3 by 2 that's my sine negative a okay and tan a is gonna be toa and toa is oppo over adjacent so root 3 by 1 that means square root 3 so this is my answer final answer very simple math uh, sine negative a is negative root 3 by 2 and tan a is square root 3 okay now let's do number 9 what question number 9 says question number says that given that tan a equal to negative 5 by 12 number 9 it says tan a these are given information given tan a equal to negative 5 by 12 and that tan a and cos a have opposite sign find the value of cos a and cos 90 degree minus a so what other piece of information given cos uh, tan sorry tan a and cos a have opposite signs okay then find out cos a equal to what and cos 90 degree minus a equal to what okay so that's the question okay let's do that diagram thingy now 10 a is negative 5 by 12 10 negative in the second and fourth quadrant okay now another piece of information given 10 a okay 10 is negative here okay and cos a have opposite sign opposite sign since 10 negative cos must be positive okay now 10 is negative in the second quadrant uh, second quadrant here now over here only sign positive so in this quadrant both 10 and cos have the same sign negative negative another place where tan a is negative is fourth quadrant now fourth quadrant tan is positive so this 
triangle must be lie in the fourth quadrant. So we're gonna draw like this perpendicular and A is gonna be, this is A. Again, I, I mentioned that in the first video, whenever I have minus five by 12, I can write down this one as negative five divided by positive 12, or I can write down positive five by negative 12, okay? Uh, negative, positive, negative, or positive, negative, negative, okay? We can use whichever is required by the math, okay? Now over here, 10 is five by 12. That means TOA, OPPO by adjacent. So OPPO is five and adjacent is 12. Now, which one are gonna be uh, in this case? Five is negative or 12 is negative? Now, Cartesian form, this is x-axis, this is y-axis. Y is negative below the x-axis, so this five must be negative because on the right side of the y-axis or vertical line, x is positive, so this is positive. Now, this is my hypotenuse, I can, I can uh, take this one as a, and a is going to be 12 square plus minus five square. So that's gonna be 12 square is 144, plus 25 that's going to be 169 equal to 13 you can you can use the calculator just to make sure if you are right or not okay 12 square plus minus 5 square that's going to give you 169 square root the answer is going to be 13 so this a equal to 13 now we are ready to find out the value of cos a now cos a equal to k adjacent over hypo so cos a is going to be adjacent, that means 12, over hypo, that's gonna be 13. Remember cos is positive, look at this, cos is positive. And now cos 90 minus A. Okay, cos 90 minus A is going to be, if you remember the complementary angles, cos 90 minus A is going to be sine A. If you don't remember, please see my uh, previous videos. It's It has details in it. So cos 90 minus A, that's gonna be sine A. And sine A is so, oppo over hypo. So oppo over hypo, it's gonna be minus five by 13. So you can see that if I have same sign, then how it works if we have the opposite sign, how it works. I hope this is pretty understandable. If you have any question, leave in the comment box. I'll get back to you. Thank you, have a good day.